What's up everybody, it's your girl Vivian and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, hello, please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms and don't forget to click that notification bell on the side. That'll keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video, okay? This video is just going to be a video of a few fragrances that has been recommended that I picked up last week off of Ulta.com and it came in today. Um, some I already have, some I picked up, um, like I said, from UltaBeauty.com um, or Ulta.com, should I say. Um, one of them that I purchased in a big, big bottle was, well, it's pretty big, but um, I had as a sample when I purchased my Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet gift set off of Macy's. So when I smelled that sample, I had to get like a much bigger bottle. Um, but I want to say shout out to Tresses of Alexis. Um, because she, I, I've been following her, especially since I started going natural. Um, for over a year, I've been watching her videos. You know, she does videos on different hair care products, what works for her hair, what doesn't. But she recently did a video, I think I want to say maybe a week or two weeks ago. She recently did a video of a very, her very first video of her um, different fragrance collections that she have, that she picked up. Some she liked and then she recommended that she recommended some that she liked she's she's gonna buy it again some she picked up once she runs out that's it she's not buying it again <laughs> but um there were two out of all of them that she recommended that i purchased so without further ado we're gonna get into this video so like I, what i want to say i just want to say again shout out to tristas of alexis okay so now we're gonna get into this video it's like this is like my fourth time starting this video all over again because for some reason you know now i have a mic my mic is connected to my macbook so when my macbook shuts down or whatever like times out the microphone cuts off so this is like my fourth time recording this again so without further ado we're going to get into this video this first one that i purchased is the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. Um, this is it here. And y'all, let me tell y'all. Please do not judge me on how I pronounce some of these perfumes, okay? Long as y'all get the main, main, main <laughs> wording of it, good. So, I'm showing y'all. Y'all try to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> and let me see. Yeah. and this is the box that it came in okay so i believe there's two version of these there's the old Soleil, um the old Soleil blanc and then there's the Soleil blanc so the Soleil blanc I purchased off of another website that's not coming in until next week so I'll do another video and let you guys know of that but with this one is in the category of fresh floral and the keynotes is bergamot yang yang and coco de mur accord so I'm saying this right so this is it and since this is my fourth time recording this video I already sprayed it um, again like I said it's a really nice scent but i have to try wearing it on me first you know i don't want to spray it on me because i already have miss dior blooming bouquet on so i don't want to mix all of that um but one day i'm gonna wear this alone and see how it works on me because keep in mind you may smell something on somebody else and be like man this smells so good and then once you get it and spray it on you doesn't smell the same you know everybody's body type is not is not going to attract a scent in the same way you may smell something on somebody and it smells so good you spray it on you mm -mm. so i like this one but i feel like 
I can see my mom wearing this. And it's not a bad thing. It smells really, really good. But I can see her liking it. I can see her wearing this. So we shall see. We shall see. That's that one. Okay. So the next one is the Chloe Nomad. It's either Nomad or Nomade, whatever. I say Nomad. Chloe Nomad. If you can see. Might be upside down. Okay. And this is the box that it came in. Okay. Um, I did get the little small ones for now because keep in mind these are my this is my first time trying out these scents. I'm trying them out because a lot I, I've seen a lot of people recommend, especially the Chloe. The Chloe is highly recommended by a, by a lot of people that I've been watching lately that that recommend certain fragrances. So I purchased the little small one. You know, for now, on, on some of them. And if I like it, I'm going to use all this up. Buy me a bigger bottle. Okay? So, now we're going to get into Chloe. So, this one is in the category of warm floral. Okay? Keynotes, oak moss, freesia, freesia and mirabelle liquor. Ooh, let's see. Okay. My bad. So we're gonna spray it, okay? <laughs> Let's see. And you know, you gotta keep in mind, a lot of time when you spray something the first time, It'll come out as a strong, overpowering scent. But once it settles, then you'll actually get to, you know, like smell and be like, okay. So I'm going to let this one dry off, you know, because it still kind of has that first strong spraying scent. But I hear about Chloe a lot. Chloe, the Chloe Nomad, I hear a lot recommend that one. Okay, now that it's kind of drying out, it's, it's not bad. Um, again, it's a warm floral scent. So we shall see. I'm gonna let this give this time to give that one time to settle. Okay, this next one. Now, I've been seeing a lot of good reviews. I mean, a lot of good reviews. On the Valentino Donna born in Roma. We shall see. Because I, I mean every time I look. Whether it's Macy's. Ulta. Uh, Sephora. I've been seeing this particular scent. Have a lot of good reviews. Especially the other one that I purchased too. Which is the Valentino Voce Viva. If I'm saying this right. Okay. So. This is it. This is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Okay. And this was the little travel um, spray that I purchased. Um, this is the box that it comes in. As you can see. Okay. So now we're going to spray it. Oh my God, without even spraying it, without even spraying it yet, it smells so good, y'all. I don't even have to spray it. I already like it, just by smelling it. Oh, now you see that Chloe settling in. I like that Chloe, so let's spray, let's see. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get a bigger bottle. I should have just got it anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh my God, this is my favorite scent. This is why I did, why Lord, why I did not pick up a big bottle. Why Lord, why? Even with all the good reviews on all these websites, why I didn't pick up? Let me tell y'all, hands down, what the hell wrong with my hand? I can't get that pop. I don't know. Hands down, Valentino, their perfume collection as of right now is legit. I mean, this smells so good. This is actually my scent right there. And this one is in the category of warm florals, just like the Chloe. And the notes is black currant, jasmine. Grande Florum and Bourbon Vanilla. It's something about that Bourbon Vanilla and that Jasmine. I don't know. That's like one of my favorites because the Chanel Noir has Jasmine in it too. And that Bourbon Vanilla. So it's something about that that really attracts me to it. I'm speechless. I, 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 I am speechless. I, I really don't know what to say. I am speechless. Like, this is my scent. This is my scent. I, I have to find the perfume and the lotion. Like, a big bottle of the perfume and the lotion. I have to. Because this right here, this is my signature scent. Yes. <laughs> Hands down. Yes. The Valentino... Donna born in Roma because there's different kinds. You got to be careful. This is the Donna born in Roma because there's two kinds. Um, yes, they got the Valentino Donna born in Roma and they got the Donna yellow dream. Um, oh, that's a new kind. Ooh. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a bigger bottle. Okay. So we're going to continue. I do apologize, y'all. <laughs> so, like, y'all, I really didn't have to spray it. Just opening the top, like, I automatically love this scent. Oh, my. <sighs> okay. This next one we're going to get into... <laughs> is the Valentino Voce Viva, okay? Now, I purchased this one in the size um, one fluid ounce. So, this is it here. Oh, fancy looking. That's what I'm talking about, Valentino. Shit. Um, <laughs> um, but, yes, I purchased this one because, keep in mind, the reason why I got that one in that size it's because when I, like I said in the beginning, when I bought the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet off of Macy's, the gift set, they had samples that they were given, like free samples of the best selling or whatever. And Valentino, this one, the Voce Viva was the, um, was the, the one that was recommended, one of the samples. So when I smelled it again, I didn't even have to spray when I smelled it. Loved it. So what I did, I ended up purchasing a bigger bottle. And this is it. Now this one is still in the category of warm florals. And the keynotes is Italian. The keynotes are Italian Bergamot, Orange Blossom Absolute, Crystal Moss Accord. So yes. This one I can't smell. It must have been playing in my other one. So <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna do a different paper. So I'm gonna spray this one. I gotta remember how this, but I knew I liked that one. Let's see. So oh, I think I must have sprayed my wall. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all. When I tell you this fragrance has so many good reviews. The Valentino Donna Born Aroma and the Voce Viva. Hands down. Hands down. I highly recommend the Donna Born Aroma and this one too, the Voce Viva. As of right now. Um, Tom Ford is okay. Would I be buying the bigger one? Mm, probably not. Once I use that, that one is it. The Chloe one is getting there. It's getting there. But hmm. Valentino, I'm telling y'all. <sighs> yes. 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 So let's see. So that's it. That's what I picked up off of Ulta.com. Um as y'all know, I've been telling y'all. Since I started wearing perfume again, the first one I tried was the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Still my favorite. Still my favorite. I, I wear that one almost every day to work. Um, I bought the gift set that came with the lotion, um, which was off of Macy's.com. And it came with the big bottle of perfume, as you all know. And let me tell you, this one, when I started wearing perfume again, this one is highly recommended as well. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's in the category of fruity florals. Okay, again. And that one, the keynotes are Damascus, Damascus Rose, Peony, and White Musk. So you can smell that White Musk in there too. Um, but this one is like, that's my favorite. <laughs> I'm telling y'all where this one is every day and another one of my favorites is the coco chanel noir which is this right here and i got this along with the lotion and this is more of an evening scent like if you're going out you know out and about at night things like that you're going out having trying to have a good time it's more of a night scent for me even and i mean you don't even have to go out you can wear this to go to bed you know when you're going to bed be all cute you want to be all sexy for your man getting in bed and smelling all good that yeah this one right here wear this one <laughs> that that is more of a night scent for me you can't go no wrong with chanel more and that one is the classic florals which the keynotes are jasmine absolute bourbon vanilla rose absolute so it's something about that bourbon vanilla and that jasmine i'm telling y'all because and bergamot bergamot is my favorite 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 even um with bath and body works um they have the uh chamomile bergamot again it's something about that bergamot that is like one of my favorite scents so the one that's pretty much similar that has like the similar keynotes is the chanel noir and the valentino donna uh born in roma like they have that same Scent, that jasmine and that bourbon vanilla see what i'm saying it's something about that so it, it it goes to show you like i'm learning more about the scents that i like because i like that donna born aroma which has uh bourbon vanilla in it and then look the chanel noir that i also loved which also has bourbon vanilla so and jasmine so it, it's something about those keynotes I'm really beginning to find what what I love about that. And 
that's like one of my favorites. Anything with, with that in it, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. So that's all, y'all. I, I was trying not to make this a long video. You know, I can run, run my mouth for hours. But I just wanted to come do this quick video, show you guys of the different scents that I purchased that was recommended. I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know, um, of the different fragrances and what's recommended. Um, that Chloe Nomad, Nomad, that one was recommended a few times. Um, Tom Ford was. Again, with the Tom Ford, I don't see me buying this after I use that bottle. I really don't see me buying this again. Um, but keep in mind, I may, I may be wrong. I got to wear it on me because just spraying it on a paper or whatever, that's really not, you know, giving a for sure answer. So once I wear it like for a whole day or something like that and see what it does, how it does on my body type, we shall see. But as of right now, I really don't see myself buying this again. Um, again, start off small. I, I, I always say this. If you never tried a certain scent, Especially if you if you watch YouTube videos or if you hear from your friends, family members who, who say, oh, this perfume smells so good. Or you smell it on somebody and they tell you what it is. I always recommend start off with a small bottle first. Because again, you can smell something on somebody and it smells so, so good. But you put it on your body and it's like, is that the same scent? You know, something like that. So start off small. And if you like it and if it, you know attracts well on you then get a big bottle but um i, I should have just got a big bottle of the valentino y'all i'm sorry that's like one of my highly recommended my favorite that is my favorite so out of all that i recommend i'm gonna give y'all miss dior blooming bouquet Valentino, Donna Born and Roma. Valentino, Voce Viva. And Chanel Noir. As of right now, that's my recommended favorites. So, I will leave a link down below in the description box showing you where you can purchase. Again, you can either go to Ulta.com or Sephora.com or you can go in the store and get it. You know, um, whichever one is your choice. But I got those off of Ulta. But Sephora sells them as well. So either one of them. But I'll leave a link down below in the description box um, where you can click. Keep in mind, this is not sponsored at all. So when you click on the links, I'm not getting no kind of percentage. You know, I see, you know, I, I'm not I'm not a big YouTuber yet to be cashing in, <laughs> you know, on these links. I'm just letting y'all know what I like, what I try, what I like. And if y'all want to try it, I'm going to leave it down below. And y'all can purchase the direct link to it. Um, But that's all, y'all. I just wanted to come do this video but not quick i don't want to say quick because it's going on 25 minutes but um again shout out to tresses of alexis for her video of the fragrances that she picked up and she did recommend the chloe nomad um and she did recommend the time for but the one the time for she recommended that one is not coming in until next week it's supposed to come in tomorrow but coming from california is always a problem anytime i get shipments coming from california it take oh lord whatever but yeah when that one comes in i'll do you do a video of that one because she recommended the tom ford i want to say she recommended or that was one she tried i don't know if she said she was gonna buy it again or whatever but it was the tom ford Soleil Blanc. Um, but this one that I picked up is the Eau de Soleil Blanc. I don't know why it was the difference because it's the same thing, but I guess they have different smells to it, but whatever. But shout out to Tresses of Alexis. And um, 
I do thank you guys for watching this video. Please thumbs up this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms. Guys, you know, when you like my content, when you share my content, when you comment, it goes a long way. It really helps this channel. I'm telling y'all, it really helps. I used to, before I was a YouTuber, I used to watch other YouTubers and hear them say that, say that and I wouldn't understand it. But now that I'm a YouTuber, I see what, what they mean. It does help your channel. So I appreciate all my day ones for rocking and rolling with me every day. Appreciate the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, what you waiting on? Click that subscribe button. Click that bell on the side to keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video. If you want to see more of these, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, any suggestions of what you would like for me to try next, leave it down below. I'm open to all ideas. All ideas. Okay? So I do thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back soon. Bye, y'all.